and every bow is different guys a long bow doesn't have quite as much stored energy as some of the recurves and it sure doesn't have as much as a super curve would have if you have uh, a lot of energy in your limbs and depending on what kind of limbs you're running you're going to need a heavier spined arrow and you're just going to have to play with that and see what will bear shaft and how much front of center weight you can get by with okay now i have tested and tried all these arrows that i have and for this bow i have chosen the 450 with a total of 280 up front that's the setup that i've got okay so i'm going to shoot this at my old half rack buck target out here in the field and show you guys just how good this thing flies here in the 20 yard range now it, like i said i've shot these at 35 and 40 yards great no problems at all but the typical setup if you have a long bow you're probably going to need to run if you're going to be above 250 grains on the front go with the 400 range 450 in victories which is equivalent to a 400 in anything else pretty much go tips eastons whatever that's what you're going to need to run now i've got some more errors that i'm about to demo that i've been tinkering with and i did a little bit of adjusting on and i'm very very pleased with those i'm going to show you those in a minute guys okay so i'm going to fling one here and just uh i've about shot the center out of this thing so hopefully it won't shoot all the way through him all right perfect did you guys see how good that flew flawless absolutely flawless and fast out of a longbow 47 pound longbow 600 grain arrow smoking smoking great setup now now let me show you something else this is another setup we have a broad headed arrow here i have chosen to go ahead and put a broad head and shoot this one this arrow here that i have is a basically it's an east axis it's basically what it is but it is a bare bow only three rivers bare bow only arrow okay with the ethics system now i did the video uh the other day on this arrow when i did my very first build the first arrow that i built i ran 335 grains up front and it shot super accurate super accurate with a broad hit now i thought okay if it's hitting that good and obviously i've lost a little bit of speed and a little trajectory shooting that much weight on it which i wanted to push the limits but i got to thinking okay what it, where's the happy medium where do you still have your smoking fast speed that you want and more than enough kinetic energy and punch to do the job where you know you've got enough to shoot through any deer in the woods split bone whatever in an indestructible system because when you put these steel out certs on as long as this uh this actual post runs all the way about this far in and then you've got this stainless sleeve that goes over you're not hurting this arrow i don't care what you shoot it into you're not gonna hurt it we're talking major but what i did was i took the weight down on this one i took my inserted weight to 130 grains Okay, 130. I thought that's just uh, instead of 160 plus 25, 185. So I've dropped 55 grains. I took 55 grains out of this thing, put the same head on. Now my arrow weighs 585 grains. I scaled this one at 585. Nowhere as heavy as some of them are, but it's a 500. It's a 500 shaft, 585 grains. And buddy, it shoots like target arrows, lightning fast and deadly accurate. I love the flight of this arrow perfect flight killer trajectory where you can shoot longer distance say you have that 30 yard shot you can smoke a deer at 30 yards with these arrows and have so much kinetic energy it's crazy okay so that's why i'm happy with this i pushed it to the maximum limit figured out what that would do then i backed it off just a little bit and i'm actually more pleased with lightening it just a little bit from what i had because i'm getting the same effect but I don't lose any trajectory, okay? So I'll shoot this one. And hopefully it doesn't shoot all the way through this thing because I've shot this old target up so much, it's crazy. No, great. Like a dead gun bullet, right in there. Deadly, deadly accurate, man. I'm telling you, guys, whatever error you choose to do and set up, you can, you can tinker and play with them all you want. And that's the fun part. And I want to try to help you save money because this stuff is expensive. When you go to buy an ethics systems and 
broad heads and arrows alone, especially if you fletch your own arrows and wrap your own, you're gonna spend some bucks, okay? So I wanna save you some money. So here's what I recommend, guys. If you're shooting between a 45 and 50 pound bow, between 45 and 50 pounds, I recommend going with a 500 and not going over about 250 on the front. If you're gonna exceed 250, go up a spine. Go to a 400 and shoot 280 to 300 to 325, whatever you want on the front, and it will handle it. Now, it will punch through literally anything you wanna shoot, but yes, you will lose some of the speed, and yes, you will lose some trajectory, but it's easy to overcome that if you're an instinctive shooter because you adapt your own arrows. And that's what I was trying to stress to you guys uh, in the last video. You more or less do have to become the arrow, kind of like my friend Byron Ferguson. You know, he, he taught that for years, and you really do have to do that. If you're an instinctive archer and you are looking at your target, what you want to hit, if you know the trajectory of your arrows, if you know what they do at any distance, it's not a problem because you know that if that target is 40 yards, 35, whatever, you know what that arrow is going to do and your body adapts to it really, really quickly, okay? Inside of 20 yards, it really makes no difference what you put on the front of one because you could shoot probably 350 grains on the front of an arrow and still hit a dot. Great, fine. If you want to limit yourself to inside of 20 yard shots, load your arrows as heavy as your spine will stand, possibly stand. I mean, as heavy as you want to go. If you want to shoot a 700 grain arrow and that's what you're comfortable with, absolutely do it. But if you can handle a little bit more in the poundage range, or a little faster bow or whatever, yes, it's gonna be beneficial. But if you're like me and you like that super comfortable 47 to 50 pound bow that is butter smooth, I recommend probably going with a 500 unless you have a long draw length. Now, I had a couple of guys ask me this question this week. They said, hey man, I've got a 29 or 30 inch draw, some guy 31, but anyway, 30 inch draw range no you're not getting by with 500s with significant weight up front absolutely not it's not going to happen you're going to have to go up to a 400 to have any decent weight i think you would be limited probably to 150 max total weight with that long of a draw length in any kind of boat so that would be my answer to that go up a spine if you want to shoot any decent weight because in my opinion 125, 150 grains is just not gonna get the job done. You're not gonna retain the kinetic energy downrange. And when you hit bone, and that arrow gets resistance, when you hit that bone, you want something that will absolutely plow like this. This setup right here. This is a killer, killer setup. We're talking, you know, seriously guys, 325 grains, 330, actually 330. This is 330 grains on the front of this arrow and on a 500 but it will shoot it will shoot out of a 47 pound bow and it will shoot through literally anything you want but when you pass 30 yards 30 yards she's going to start diving so that's where i chose i chose to take about 55 grains out of my insert post and get my optimum weight where i get the kinetic energy but the flat shooting Okay, so guys, I hope this has helped you a lot. I really hope it has, hope and pray it has. And uh, as always, I love bringing them to you. Uh, you guys feel free to message me anytime. I'll answer any question that I can. Uh, that's what we're here for. And I uh, hope we can save you some money, some time and some effort. So get you some arrows going, have fun, uh, shoot us the questions and we'll be glad to help you any way we can. As always, thank you so much for joining us. God bless you and have a great day. Goodbye.